Welcome to more Mario Kart Tour content. I'll be taking a look at the Los Angeles Tour in detail in just a few moments. But for starters, I want to go over the big announcement that came from the Nintendo Direct for Mario Kart 8. And there will be paid DLC that's entering Mario Kart 8, 48 tracks uh, over the span of two years. This is a plan that will um, only fully launch, there's going to be six waves of eight courses. So uh, the last of those 48 tracks will release at the end of the year 2023. And in these various waves, there's going to be Mario Kart Tour content that's being ported over to Mario Kart 8. In the first wave alone, we've seen Tokyo Blur, Paris Promenade, as well as Ninja Hideaway. So will future waves contain more Mario Kart Tour um, exclusive content? Uh, in all likelihood, it will. So what does this mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, it legitimizes Mario Kart Tour's place within the canon. I've always perceived Mario Kart Tour as being the Mario Kart 9. And while the naming may boil down to semantics, uh, what this emphasizes is that Mario Kart 8 will continue to go strong through the year 2023. So there won't be that next gen Mario Kart until 2024 at the soonest. And one thing that I've been reading the tea leaves on for quite a while with Mario Kart Tour and looking at the player activity, studying uh, the revenue trends as it's published over time, I felt secure at least in estimating Mario Kart Tour to have a five year plan at a minimum. Uh, and certainly there are uh, situations where that may expand if the game's success and longevity holds up. But five years uh, seems quite reasonable. And if we look at the timeline for that, the game launched in 2019, five years would take us to 2024, which is right around the time when we might anticipate seeing that next gen Mario Kart title. So um, for all of you out there uh, who enjoy Mario Kart Tour, it's not going anywhere. It's, uh, this is a, a positive as I see it. And there are some things that the Nintendo could do here certainly to bolster the uh, player base of both uh, the console title Mario Kart 8 as well as Mario Kart Tour because now that the, this series of content from Tour is being ported over to Mario Kart 8, uh, the player base of that game may say, wow, these tracks are significant. Is this what Mario Kart Tour has to offer? And it may present an opportunity for Mario Kart Tour now since it's two original tracks, the Nitro tracks that I talk about here often when discussing the value um, of the courses for all the items that we look at here, uh, being Ninja Hideaway as well as Merry Mountain. Uh, they are fully fleshed out and complete within the uh, framework of Mario Kart Tour, right? We have a normal variant, a reverse variant, a trick variant, and a reverse trick variant. So courses typically only see four variants uh, before moving on to other courses or before they're remade. So um, given that now uh, both of those tracks have their reverse trick format in place, there's an opening for a new original course. And given that our original courses in Mario Kart Tour are being ported to Mario Kart 8, this would be a good time in the next six months. And I would specifically target the 2.5 year anniversary tour as being the next opportunity. And this is a golden opportunity for Nintendo to launch a brand new original track in Mario Kart Tour as a way of showing the um, larger player base of uh, Mario Kart who play on the Switch console. Um, what do you folks think about Ninja Hideaway? Quite a remarkable track, right? Because it really is um, quite ingenious what they designed there. And if they launch a brand new track um, similar of similar quality as Ninja Hideaway, and that could pull folks from the Mario Kart 8 audience into Mario Kart Tour, which would inject fresh blood, um, give it a new lease on life, right? And likewise, um, all of the Mario Kart Tour fans who love these tracks now have the opportunity to purchase that as a one-time only thing and have that permanently in your Mario Kart 8 uh, console. So uh, this is a, a very smart and a shrewd way of operating on Nintendo's behalf. I think this could potentially lead to some very positive things 
um, for not only Mario Kart Tour, but the entire Mario Kart community as a whole. And that's definitely something to be really excited about. And now let's dive into Los Angeles. So we have the brand new character, Charge and Chuck. Big moment for him. It's his time to shine. Finally given an opportunity in Mario Kart. It's a big moment, not just for him, but the entire franchise uh, in total. So, um, but you may be wondering, what is the value of Charge and Chuck? Comes equipped with the Lucky 7 skill, which I would consider to be the fourth best special skill. Um, not always, uh, certainly it's always top five, but on certain tracks, actually triple bananas can outperform Lucky 7. It depends how narrow the track is for those triple banana hits in that frenzy because it can be close to the level of a giant banana if it's in a really good section of the track. But um, in Los Angeles slapped too, as we will see when I do uh, one of the runs coming up, uh, there's multiple pathways, much like Yoshi Valley in the Nintendo 64 version of Mario Kart. So uh, given that that's the case, and uh, we, we do have some triple banana uh, drivers in play there, um, that reduces the ceiling of triple banana though, since uh, the bots will have an easier time avoiding the banana hits given that they can take a separate pathway. Um, so on, on a track like that specifically, I would say Lucky 7 is absolutely superior. Um, taking a look, he starts off with 9 tracks, which is quite good. I mean, 10 is the maximum that we've seen, so, uh, and that's extremely rare too, mind you. So 9 is right up at the top, very good, but it does come with 3 Nitro tracks. Three of them are Los Angeles based. We have the um, ranked mode in week one, Los Angeles Laps 2T, and ranked mode in week two, which is uh, LA Laps 2, the normal version. And then it does have this unfortunate uh, level six unlock for LA Laps 3, which was uh, the one that was brought to the game last summer uh, in July. So um, that doesn't really help its coverage overall, but it has six assumed tracks, and we do know that the subsequent tour is the Sky Tour, and that will feature Sky Gardens, a GBA track, so it's not going to be Nitro-based. And we know, based on the data, that the second biggest increase in the total value of any driver will come in its second tour. So, um, uh, extremely high likelihood of all assumed tracks entering his value next tour, which will be um, very good when speaking to uh, what's the projection for his um, fully realized value, right? And Lucky 7, there's a, a wide amount of variability in what we see with those drivers. Um, but bear in mind, we see with Satella View Mario, uh, as well as Painter Luigi, um, Happy Peach, these uh, tend to receive a favorable number of courses. So um, Charge and Chuck, um, while he might not be one of those paywall warriors that keeps being featured in the exclusive brand new tracks that come to ranked mode, um, I'd imagine he might get um, a few of them, but I don't think he'll be one of those repeat um, appearances uh, like, you know, uh, Fire Rosalina or DK Jr. Cat Toad, you know, the, the ones of that kind. But um, he will receive a lot of tracks. Uh, and but here's the thing, right? Um, what do these tracks represent, right? What, uh, specifically looking at the assumed value tracks. So we see that he comes with the Wario Shipyards, um, the Cheap Cheap Island, DK Summit. So a lot of these are newer tracks. And he does have one overlap track with a, a coin box, right? Uh, so that leaves five of the tracks where he doesn't have coin box overlap from these assumed tracks. And you might say, well, that's remarkable, and it really it is remarkable. Honestly, um, the coin box overlap starting value is quite low compared to other um, items that are introduced to the game. But this is where the boomerangs come in, and of those remaining five, three of those courses have boomerang drivers. Two of which are going to be Ninja Shy Guy, and one will be a Yoshi Kangaroo track. So. Uh, that leaves only two tracks left where he is remaining as the top driver. And of those two tracks, they are shared with Happy Peach. It was actually previously um, 
Happy Peach was the exclusive uh, Lucky 7 driver there. So Charge and Chuck is carving into her niche. So if you are invested into Happy Peach, well, um, now she has company. So um, that's the state of things. Uh, specifically looking at things from the coin box perspective, Charge and Chuck starts off really good. But, uh, you know, the boomerangers have been uh, throwing a, a wrench into uh, the value of things here. And, and that's quite apparent. So... Um, should you pull for this character? I mean, look, you know, brand new character. Uh, if at all you are interested in this, uh, if you're on the fence, maybe uh, lean on the, the positive sense, right? Uh, give them, uh, show them the support for bringing in the new character. Uh, taking a look now at this combo cruiser. Uh, a lot of different opinions on, on this cart. And look, you know, everybody has their own tastes. Uh, no pun intended here with <laughs> the uh, the cheeseburger and the fries, but uh, it, that's not my taste. So uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit off putting for me personally. But really cool cart, unique animation. Um, the straw in the back has like the soda uh, spit out or whatever. Um, much the way how uh, Kamek's Zoom Room has the the different colored shapes upon the trick animations, which is quite cool. So. Uh, Mini Turbo Plus, great skill. The the big claim to fame for this cart is the giant size hitbox. The numbers are not uh, in just at the moment, but uh, this is going to rank in the top 10 almost assuredly, and it looks very wide and very long. So, um, just like Charge and Chuck, nine tracks to start off, which is top of the mark for a cart. So, uh, very good there. And also like Charge and Chuck, it has six assumed courses. So uh, LA Laps 2T we know is ranked mode week one. LA Laps 2RT is going to be in week two's ranked mode. And then it has um, LA Laps 3R, uh, unfortunately isn't ranked mode. That was the one that, that featured also um, in last July. And otherwise also gets the Wario Shipyard variants as well as the Cheap Cheap Island. So there is that favoritism to the more recent introductions, um, which honestly makes it more likely that it will be, appear in ranked mode since um, that kind of like uh, middle generation of tracks is more likely to appear than those original tracks like the Rock Rock Mountains and the Yoshi Circuits. Those are more fleeting in their appearances in ranked mode um, because of the amount of items that are already available on them, right? Like these, these courses, um, Wario Shipyard is still actively, I mean, it was just new last tour. So it's going to have new items brought to it um, for quite some time as it's uh, continued to be exposed in tours. Um, now, uh, the big thing with a big hitbox cart is, uh, you know, very useful for using with your coin box drivers. So, um, new stat that, uh, we're coming out with here for a, a cart of such a friendly portion. Um, it only has one course where it overlaps with a coin box driver. So just like charge and chuck, but only in this case, we want it to overlap with a coin boxer. Doesn't really have much coin box coverage so far, but it's still early on the value, right? We're only less than one fourth into its total value. And then we have here the uh, Star Spangled Glider. This is just middle of the road. Um, a little bit unfortunate, honestly, that this isn't a brand new item, a complete set in the way of Kamek because it does just incrementally reduce um, the palatability of going into this pipe. Um, the value on this has 17 assumed tracks. I believe it's 24 tracks overall, which is right in the middle. Nothing is substantial about this. It's not one of the stronger star gliders that's in the game. It's not like the 8-bit star or the uh, the silver star shoot, which is really uh, loads better. Um, even though this has been more exclusive, it just hasn't had the value come its way. So... Um, there we have it for the week one spotlight. Now let's take a look at some of the other items that may be in play here. So um, there are other things that have been introduced and we'll take a brief look at them right here. So in week two, there's going to be two brand new drivers. This tour features three new high-end drivers, which um, I honestly, I, I 
would have to look it up. When was the last time, if at all, this has ever happened? Um, because we have Mario Golf, who has Mushroom Cannon, um, will be a spotlight in week two, and it starts off with eight tracks of value. Um, and it's looking a little bit rough on these, right? Because we have, um, just like the uh, Charge and Chuck, and uh, actually these are bear more resemblance even to the, um, the Combo Cruiser, is um, LA Laps 2 and 2 RT, RT being um, the one that's going to be in ranked mode for week two, LA Laps 3 as part of the level ones. So really, you're not going to see much value from this driver unless you use it unless you use your tickets on him right and uh mushroom cannon i don't think there's going to be a lot of people who want to be putting their tickets on them but we do have that silent majority that does show favoritism for mario um i don't suspect that this mario will be a heavy hitter but uh, as is the case lately um a vast majority of the new drivers do find a pretty good niche um in acquiring a large number of tracks so yes this mario character will likely ultimately end up with a healthy number of tracks but uh, combined with its skill and the composition of what those courses will be i don't see uh really any value here and we have luigi golf who has double bob -ums, slightly better skill and also starts off with eight tracks um, has two nitro based ones uh, unlocked at level one and it looks like he spared the third nitro track so he will have then um, six assumed courses but uh, uh, looking like a bunch of overlaps here with coin box drivers we know there's peach vacation on maple tree way r um, there's bowser santa king boo gold for maple tree way uh, so Certainly also there's the coin box on Frap Snow Land as well. And then there's Triple Banana on uh, Cheap Cheap Island. And uh, I believe there's also some boomerang drivers in play there. So uh, obviously he's going to be running into a lot of competition just like Mario Golf. I don't know what to make of this, honestly, since it is unprecedented. And I always like to refer to um, past situations that can help inform um, my idea of forecasting for everyone out there what the value of these things are and I have no qualms with admitting I don't know. I don't know what will happen with these drivers. We've never seen it before. So um, that's something we can all enjoy and look forward to together here. Um, what else is there? We have a, a bunch of new cards too. It's not just the Combo Cruiser. We have two new cards for the Luigi and the Mario. Let's go find them right now. So here we go. We have the sneaker. Um, this is going to be Mario's spotlight cart in week two. Eight tracks, and we see that it has um, two nitro tracks, LA Laps 2, LA, LA Laps 3. Um, yeah, kind of middle of the road. Uh, rocket start doesn't really uh, make a difference either way. We're going to ultimately be looking at the track coverage on this. Um, given that it starts off with eight and nitro, mediocre, that, that's what it has written on it. But again, uh, given that there are two new items being brought to the same pipe, um, unprecedented. So green lightning, this one looks a bit more interesting, just um, aesthetically. Uh, I believe that's a bolt buggy recolor there. So uh, dash panel plus, we have LA Laps 3R as well as uh, 2RT and 3t so wow uh this one has three nitro base courses um that's pretty rough for starting value goes but um the big thing that we should discuss is actually the cart that is next to these two because this will be in the special pipe it's cupid's arrow and it looks phenomenal this is really a very nice appealing looking cart it has jump boost plus which is a great special skill that has great implied situations for scoring on your account because as you level up your cart, um, it will affect the bonus point calculation that you receive for every action that you obtain. Um, maxing out at level six, 
um, and also equally at level 7 at X. 1.25 to all bonus points that you'll be earning. And jump boosts have uh, are among some of the greatest uh, base points for the bonus points that are out there. So uh, and it's very favorable with the bonus that you're receiving uh, for this card. So um, I, I do like the combination of uh, jump boost plus on high level investments for your cards. Uh, but that also uh, depends on the track composition that it has. So we have Choco Island 1R, which actually, I mean, usually you would think of trick tracks as being good for jump boost, but uh, the entire Choco Island series is quite favorable for jump boost. So that's good. Maple Tree Way kind of similar as well. And then we see it does have the trick tracks, folks, on the level unlocks. So you have Frap Snow Land T, Rosalina's Ice World uh, RT, DK Summit R is also similar to the Choco Island, and that is optimal actually with jump boost because you think of all of those snow piles right and then um, rmx rainbow road 2 rt which is a fairly new track also um, so this is looking phenomenal overall it has um, only eight courses though for starting value so that is uh, the information that we have to keep in mind but i do have a comparison in mind for the value of how I could see this card going, and I'm uh, thinking about the Pink Wing, released also right around this time last year, and the Pink Wing carried folks' account for months and months and months. I remember in April and May, we were still talking about how good the Pink Wing had been for consistency, and the composition of that special pipe, which I'll go over with you here since um, I may not be having a deep dive analysis on the weekend, um, but if there isn't, I will provide some information by the way of my community tab. So um, if there is no video on Sunday, um, go over to my channel and click on the community tab and you can find information on Cupid's Arrow, you know, perhaps a graph or something that shows my expected projections for this. But if we take a look at uh, what that pipe will be, we see that there will be um, Pauline Rose as a possible driver. Uh, there's uh, Cupid, uh, Chiru Peach, Baby Form, and there's also Chef Mario, right? So the driver's kind of a mixed bag, uh, nothing that really stands out there. And then um, a selection of gliders that look um, somewhat decent. Uh, the Rose Parasol is certainly going to be uh, the one attractive one of the bunch, but the rest of them are just mediocre. So it's really going to be this cart that's going to be um, the driving force of that. And there does appear to be a spotlight for that pipe. And I, I do think that there will be favoritism with that cart shown in the way of brand new track buffs. Um, pretty pretty sure, certain on that one. So um let's go into la laps 2t um, we have donkey kong jr here um looking at the other drivers cat rosalina charging chuck uh daisy swimwear so there's multiple triple banana drivers as well as that pauline rose carts um there's the brand new cart looks pretty nice as well as that large combo cruiser um and then a, a mixed selection otherwise at the deal with bottom shelf here, I'm going to go with the Rambi runner just for the uh, the base points. And that Starry Great Sale is coming in clean for me. You can get that in the standard high-end selection as I did. I got it in the All Clear Pipe in the last tour. But any Today's Challenge Pipe, you can get it. The All Clear Pipe, you can get it. If you want to pull for Charge and Chuck, you can get it in that pipe as well. Um, otherwise, we see the regular Home Field Glider is in the mix and then few of these that have been in special pipes and packs recently pretty standard stuff yeah so let's do a run on it and see what we have cooking here so immediately I see um, it's a really wide setup which might not be the best for triple banana but um, as is always the case we'll find our spots for it there's always a good spot Keeping that combo alive, very nice. Oof, well, that's a killer. 
No coin and no frenzy. Okay, nice little jump boost off the pipe. I kind of like that there. Pretty intuitive track overall, if I do say so myself. This looks pretty nice. I missed the line there for getting those coins, but that's a nice little addition there. Way to pad your score a bit. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of a score this will get if I don't get a frenzy. Because I mean, the run has been so-so, right? Nothing special here. Keep the combo pretty easily, except there. But I did get the frenzy, okay. Pretty sloppy run, but I'd say the frenzy probably makes up for some of the dropped combos and stuff. That we work out as we get to learn the track. Things become more familiar, more comfortable for us. And there we have it. So it looks like about 21K. Nice, okay. And we'll see, of course, what that does for my standing in the group. We'll take a look at the Wild Slugger also, um, which is the first high-end ranked reward that has come to the game for Mario Kart Tour. So there we go, the 21K. And we know we're gonna be moving up. Is that enough for first place? First, we gotta collect a reward. Ah, yeah, that's another thing to talk about. Um, the rewards are increased for the total point challenge. Not only does it go up to the 900K, which has been precedent now for the last few tours, but also gain access to the bolt build parachute if we get 800K. I actually don't have this glider, but uh, I don't know if I want to grind out 800K. Uh, I'll have to see what my loadouts are. Um, if that can be done comfortably enough, Absolutely, I will do that. But uh, this one's pretty cool. Wildfire Flyer is in here. Um, doesn't have much track value, but a lot of overlap with Pink Old Peach. So uh, many of you are invested into Pink Old Peach, so this is a good card. Um, for me, it's actually quite a bit of overlap with Funky Kong, too. So um, that's pretty good there. 61K. Oh, we missed it by 200 points. Well, um, that's, you know, once I get the line settled out, um, I should be good in that situation. But, I mean, as we can see here, uh, the top three places will receive this brand new cart. So let's see, um, this is one that I forgot to go over before. Um, starts off with nine tracks. Quite good. LA Laps 3 is detrimental to its value, as is 3T. Mm. That's kind of rough, but we do have LA Laps 2RT, which will be ranked mode in week two. So that will, uh, if you're able to get that top standing, now it varies based on what tier you're in. I've seen people who are below tier 50 and you can only get this wild slugger in the top two spots. And if you're really like, if you're just starting off playing the game, top one. So it can be pretty rough, but uh, otherwise, uh, it does get LA Laps 2. Um, if you were to take it all the way to level 6, which means that it can cover both LA variants in week 2. If you were to level it up, this could be um, one that you may want to do that on. Also, given um, maybe the aggressiveness with which that they're gating it behind these, um, the ranked reward, right? Uh, this could be a good card. Just like many other things in this tour, I don't have anything to directly compare it to. Um, if we think about the super drivers, look at the value that they've received, right? Like uh, Pit Crew Toad Yellow has continued to get buffs, right? Like uh, on Mario Circuit 3 this tour. So, you know, those super drivers are going, you know, edging closer to 20 tracks. So what's a high-end cart going to, what's the premium going to be on that? Could be quite good so um and also you know but always you know marriage it with uh, what your situation is in your game in your life and and don't be baited um in feeling like this is you a must-have right like you can get by just fine without this cart just think of it as a nice bonus because it is a nice bonus it's a good reward so um that's my my take on that one thing to keep in mind is that outside of Blue Yoshi, which came back in the tricolor pipe, a lot of these ranked supers haven't been seen in pipes. So the Wild Slugger may be pay gated, um, or not technically pay gated, but gated 
uh, overall, I suppose. Um, so it could be quite exclusive, um, just a thought. But um, be careful with spending your resources. Make sure you're doing it in a way that's that's going to you know fulfill your goals in the game. And if you're doing that, um, all the wish of success to every single one of you out there. Now, let's do today's challenge and uh, see we have Black Birdo here with the story great sale in the button taxi. And this looks like it's LA Laps 3, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this is going to go through the baseball stadium, Dodger Stadium. It's nice that how they do bring back some of these um, old city courses, um, especially like if you make an investment into these things, um, and if you're grinding for ACR or something to that effect, um, it's nice to know that your investment will see multiple uses. Uh, while that may not be the case for um, ranked mode, um, they have done that on occasion for ranked mode. Like we saw Paris 2 come back into ranked mode, um, which was quite nice. So here we see we have a Bob on Cannon Frenzy. <laughs> Who said that this item is bad, right? <laughs> it depends on the track and the skill, honestly. Okay, that wasn't too good, but it wasn't terrible. We got a couple hits in there. You know, if the track has walls, then uh, it is a quite a good skill, actually. Uh, I remember when we had the uh, the Bob Omb token event, actually, for uh, Bob Omb hits, I was getting like 99 using it on Airship Fortress. I believe that was with uh, Black Shy Guy. But, uh, you know, if it's certainly a, a wide open course and you're not set up correctly, then, yeah, it, you know, it's not going to do much for you. Interesting item though for multiplayer, and we do have Cart Pro back again, so think about multiplayer too. Um, interesting item because it doesn't affect your ability to get defensive items, premium defensive items, in the front of the pack. Um, and if you're in that like fourth place position, it offers a, a very interesting range, and it can't be guarded, right? You can't use you know, a super horn on it, uh, your shells or bananas won't protect you. The only thing that can protect you is a heart and just one time unless it's heart plus potentially two times there, so. Um, but then if you have the heart, do you have that in first place? You know, that's, it doesn't spawn in first place. You have to smuggle it in or, you know, use it and have it activated, so. Uh, here's today's challenge. I didn't look at my resource total, so totally in the dark on this. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a little bit more fun that way too. Okay, 1,000 coins, that's really good. That's phenomenal, actually. Okay, um, what are we gonna go to next? Okay, I want to talk about um, Tear Shop, right? We're gonna look at the Tear Shop, and so this is the thing. A lot of talk in the community. Gee, let's go to the Daily Selects, right? Um, many folks are aware that, uh, and if you're not, I'll tell you now, that the Daily Selects high-end ticket rate has been reduced. It was previously 10% and now it's 6%. Um, gliders are still 2% overall slice of the pie, but now uh, drivers have been reduced from 5% to 2%, so that's the most significant change. And then carts from 3% to 2%, so that's that 6%, 2 plus 2 plus 2, okay? Um, and alongside of that, um, we do know that to get a high end in the tier shop, according to data mining, it's 20% to get a high end ticket, 80% to get a super ticket, which means if we run 80% um, for three trials, it's relatively speaking a coin flip, right? It's 51% to have three super tickets, right? So, um, fairly good odds for obtaining a high-end ticket. I have had a high-end ticket since this Daily Selects change, I want to say every single week, um, although uh, there may have been one where I did not have a high-end ticket. But um, what we don't know as a community, but what I suspect is that the uh, decrease in the high-end ticket rate for the Daily Selects was probably met with an increase in the high-end ticket rate of the tier shop, which would facilitate uh, more coin wastage, that's for sure. But I do recall 
there was a solid like four or five months where I did not get a single high-end ticket, which would just be astronomical odds if it was 20%. This is dating back to last summer, right? So across the entire summer, um, perhaps the change wasn't simultaneous. It, maybe it was staggered where they adjusted the tier shop rate and then only recently adjusted the daily selects ticket rate. But that's just a little bit of uh, thinking that I've been putting out there. Maybe uh, someone in the comments can uh, tell me what they think about that. Um, also, week two tier shop um, will be Red Yoshi Super Driver. Um, we have the Macaron back once again. That's for Maple Treeway. Um, are over here as well as the swooper now we have the dixie kong cup which uh is quite nice i'm glad that she is finally getting the love and attention the love and attention here um but um i can't be too over enthusiastic about it because i do have some loadout discrepancies um within the week two ranked modes um particularly over here no driver, uh, no cart. So um, certainly if I if I place in the top three, which is looking very reasonable considering I sandbagged last week, I should get top three this week so I could have a cart there. Um, but there's some interesting implications because we do know, and keep this in mind folks, there's going to be a new ranked super coming out for Sky Gardens. Um, and it never hurts to plan ahead, right? You don't know if your loadout's gonna be better in week one to just guarantee that chance, you might wanna sandbag week two. Look, if you're secure in your rubies, if you don't really um, have strong feelings about using them, or if you are working towards a savings goal, which um, you know I certainly encourage here, especially uh, avoiding pipes until you have 450 rubies, so that way you can guarantee your outcome and then you won't get hurt. Even if uh, it feels bad and you have to go to the bottom of the pipe, you'll get the full high-end value of that pipe, which is quite good. So, um, yeah, I, I'm very uh, enthusiastic to see the Dixie Kong Cup, but I may want a sandbag this week, uh, or I should say the second week, but I'll do that after we take a look at the tour preview. There's no reason for rash decisions, but uh, I think uh, long term, this is a very optimistic thing, so... All right, so let's see. Uh, can we get Charge and Chuck on our free pipe? That would be really cool, right? So let's just go into it right now and see what we get here. First one up. We have a green pipe. That's good. That's If it's a faker, it will get a great reaction. Easy thumbnail. <laughs> Probably will be a normal, though. Morton. Okay. Cart. Normal cart. And second one up. Also green. Ludwig, okay. So uh, we have the support going with the Koopalings out there. Uh, he's, he's there to cheer on Charge and Chuck's grand entrance into Mario Kart Tour. So I do hope everybody enjoys this tour and uh, has wonderful luck in the pipes. If you're going for Charge and Chuck, best of luck to you. Uh, if you're curious about the Cupid Arrow, want more information on it, if there's not a video this Sunday, be sure to check in on the community tab. And as such, uh, if you do appreciate the data-driven approach that we do on the channel here, I'm focusing on many different sides of the game from free to play all the way up to gold pass only and pay to win. Um, and really uh, collecting all of the kind of players that are out there and, and finding the commonalities there. Please do share your support with the channel by leaving a thumbs up on this video and subscribing. Uh, it goes a long way in helping to produce more Mario Kart Tour content. This is a wonderful game and there's great things on the horizon here. Um, honestly, 2022 is off to perhaps the best start um, out of any year yet for Mario Kart. I mean, if we think back to 2020 and 2021, uh 2022 hands down i mean we have a new character we have retro courses uh it, it's phenomenal so uh, enjoy everybody and have a good time take care